So yesterday we found out that the release date of the upcoming summer update to GTA Online is more than likely the 11th of August, which is a Tuesday in about a week and a half. Not only did the podium picture say that the event week is going to end on the 10th, their Twitter actually said all the offers are going to end on the 10th. There's also a loading screen, which I don't have a picture of, that says it's going to end on the 10th, which is a Monday. So that 11th is looking more and more likely to be the release date. With that being said though, in this video, I do kind of just want to take a look at what actually could be coming in this summer update. We've obviously been talking a lot about the big massive heist update with the new location that's coming sort of towards the end of the year, but we really haven't talked too much about the actual update that's coming relatively soon. Obviously, the only thing we know about it so far officially is this picture. We know that this is going to be a new vehicle, but as far as what is going to be coming in it, Rockstar had this to say, which is it's just such a weird wording. A summer update to GTA Online is also on the way, offering up a fun mix of diverse new content from the game's massive array of experiences to enjoy. Basically, what they're saying here is that this summer update is literally just going to be some new content from all the stuff that's already in the game. It's not going to be a new business. It's not going to be a new heist. It's not going to be anything new as far as that is concerned, but it will be something that adds more, I guess, to the experiences we already have. And that's what I want to talk about. So let's go ahead and, I don't know, run down a list of some things that could be coming. So number one, at least in my mind, the first thing that my brain thinks of when you're talking about new content from the experiences we already have in the game is more business missions and different sell missions, especially the import and export. I think that's one of the easier ones to do because there's been so many new supercars, sports cars, sports classic cars added since that update, they could have a ton of different new missions in the import and export. And that would be a lot of fun to sort of bring new life to that business. And the same could be done for other businesses. The problem is that a lot of those businesses, they, they have sell missions where you're just using like, you know, random vehicles and stuff. So it might be a little bit different, but I would say at least with some of the older ones, like the motorcycle club business ones, I think they need to add some more cell missions to actually make them fun. Like there's a reason not many people actually do those missions because when you're selling your product in like a UPS van, that's going like 10 miles an hour and you have to drive across the entire map, that's just not fun. So it would be nice if they could actually, or if they would go out back and actually add a bunch of new missions that are fun. Now they do say new content. So it's, I, I think it's at least not just going to be maybe new missions. It could be new properties. Now, a lot of the businesses we have in the game, they have a ton of properties to choose from except the CEO office. And that's one of the more important business properties in the game. I think it would be cool to have some newer properties. Now, I don't think they would be as expensive because, I mean, the best building in the game, Maze Bank building, that one's already $4 million. You can't really go higher than that. But if they added some, I guess, middle tier business proper, business CEO properties around the map, maybe that would be a, probably a cool change just to switch it up. You know, we have all had our same office probably for a couple years now. I don't know. Let us have an office up in Sandy Shores if we want to. I think that would be kind of cool. And look, obviously it doesn't just apply to the office. I mean, one thing, and I'll touch more on this in the community feedback session they mentioned, but new garages. I think that would be probably one of the best things they could add. And new garages that not only store a lot more vehicles, not like the office garages either. I don't like the way those are set up. I want to see the entire garage on the same level and i want the garage lighting to actually be good so bigger and better garages 
they can do it. There's no excuse. They could literally put it under the ground, make it like a freaking facility or even the bunker. But bigger and better garages is something I think that would be incredible. Going back to the gameplay aspect, though, they could add some new free mode missions and challenges. They have done this kind of, I think like a year or two ago, they updated the challenges. But even then, the challenges are so lame. I would really like to see some better challenges. And even now that we have the free mode business battles, I would want to see maybe some better ones. So that's something that could totally come. That's something that fits the description of new content of stuff we already have. One really cool thing I think would be a lot of fun is sort of like an arena part two, but not in the way you're, you're maybe thinking. I want to see instead of arena wars, I want to see robot wars. We already have two, maybe three, if you count the drone uh, RC vehicles in the game, throw some more RC vehicles in and let us have robot wars inside of the arena. That's something I think it's a little, it's not crazy big of an idea. And that would just be a lot of fun. Imagine having robot war, RC robot wars against other people. That could be cool. Obviously some of the content that we've been looking for the last couple of months, the open wheel race creator. I mean, look, some of the best content in the game is actually not even from Rockstar, it's from the community. So having an open wheel race creator would be fantastic. Even like a mission creator. We know in the game files, there is a mission creator. Rockstar have been just holding on to that for years now. Maybe it's time they actually release that so we can have some new missions. Sure, they wouldn't pay out any, but maybe they might actually be fun. Of course, you know, it's Rockstar. They're probably going to add some stupid, dumb adversary modes that no one's going to play after the first week. But I guess that's to be expected. And then given the fact that we know there's going to be at least one new vehicle, there's probably going to be a bunch of new sports and supercars. And it would be nice. I know this is a pipe dream, but Benny's returning. I mean, that's new content on the game's massive array of experiences. Benny is one of those experiences. I would just love to see Benny's return with some top tier customization but that's probably not going to happen because there's rockstar now the uh, sort of other part i mean that's just a list of a couple of things i came up with i'm sure you know if you guys want to list anything you can come up with let me know in the comment section i'm sure you guys have come up with some crazy stuff but the other part of their newswire that they mentioned a couple of days ago was community feedback so they said sort of towards the middle that they added a bunch of stuff like they added the master control terminal which allows you to run all businesses from one place that was something the community sort of asked for and they do say more or more of our suggestions will find our way into the game over the next couple of weeks so as far as community feedback is concerned maybe this could be a mini quality of life update i'm sure they won't go the full route and you know fix everything we've always wanted to be fixed but hopefully they do actually fix some of the things like especially some of that older business content the fact that you can lock on to the cell vehicles that's that should be fixed like that's something super easy you would think make sure that doesn't happen and the same just for regular non-weaponized vehicles missiles should not be able to lock on to a vehicle like unless maybe that person has a bounty on them or they're doing something the vehicle itself literally should not be able to be locked onto because I'm tired of driving supercars around and then getting blown up by Oppressor Mark IIs. That shouldn't happen. Same for like helicopters and stuff. I feel like helicopters shouldn't be able to be locked onto either. You could put the sort of garage aspect in the community feedback because that's something people have always been asking for. More garage space, better garage space, bigger garage space. We know there's a 20, 30, 40 car garage kind of interior in the game files maybe they bring that back i mean as far as community feedback i am curious what would be some of the bigger things you guys would want to see in this update i mean i think for me mainly just balancing free mode a little bit better i obviously love the oppressor mark ii for just getting around and its usefulness but it does have some balancing issues it, it's pretty overpowered compared to most of the vehicles in the game so so i definitely would want to see some more balanced gameplay in free mode i think that could you know go a long way to making people enjoy the actual game in in multiple different ways but let me know in the comment section what your guys's 
ideas are as far as what we could be seeing in this update. I mean, given what they say, it's it's kind of a general topic. And I think that's why we haven't really received any information on it because they're probably having a hard time making a trailer to try and like sell it because it's not something, it's not a new business. It's not a new heist. But I think actually this could be one of the, the better DLCs if done right. But let me know your thoughts and ideas in the comment section below. Thought this would be a cool video just to, again, take a look at what could be coming in the summer update in a couple of weeks. Thank you all for watching. Please drop your like, did enjoy, subscribe for more GTA content. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.